Hi everyone, thank you for watching this video. So today we'll be looking at my Australian 50 cent tetradecagon coin collection. These are the 2014 Lunar Year of the Horse and the 2015 Lunar Year of the Goat. Now there's some construction going across the way, so my apologies for any noise that you might hear in the background. The Australian Mint started this series of uh, tetradecagon lunar coins in 2012 with the Year of the Dragon. And the series is currently still ongoing, with the latest coin, the Lunar Year of the Ox, uh, released this year in 2021. Uh, unlike the current 50 cent circulating coins, which are Dodecagon or 12 sided these lunar coins actually have 14 sides or tetradecagon. All the coins uh, minted by the mint were in copper nickel and all the coins were presented in a red color coin card. However, for the year 2014 and 2015, the mint released a series of silver proof version of the lunar coins which were packaged in the blue box that you see in front of you. The mint also released a very limited number of copper nickel coins presented in these white boxes. Now I've been trying to collect these four coins for the last three years and I finally managed to get the final coin a couple of weeks ago. I actually uh, unboxed this coin on video, so if you missed that, I'll leave a link to that video at the end of this video. I'll show you the 2014 coins first, then the 2015. But before we get into that, uh, please hit the like button if you enjoy this sort of content. And don't forget to share and subscribe. So let's uh, get into it. Alright, we're going to go ahead and take a look at these coins from 2014, the year of the horse. Uh, these coins were the third in this series. The first was in 2012, the year of the dragon, and the second in 2013, the year of the snake. So we'll take a look now at the copper nickel version. You can see the coat of arms of Australia. And I don't read Mandarin too well, so According to Google Translate, this uh, means Royal Australian and Asian Mint. Tetradecagon, a lunar series. And according to Google Translate again, this means uh, Australian Zodiac Circulation Commemorative Coin. Nothing behind. And for the copper nickel version, there were no COA issued with the uh, with the box. Here's a look at the coin. The designer of the reverse is Alex Borodiev. Uh, sorry if I'm butchering the name. For this box version, the mean release uh, just 1,500 of this set. Uh, this compares to the carded version, which the mean release uh, 13,503. So the mintage for this is actually uh, extremely low. This was the last coin that I found and managed to get online. Um, this was the coin that I actually unboxed in my last video. And I paid uh, around $30 for this coin. There were some sellers asking um, above $50 to $80 for this coin. It's a rare piece. Okay, we'll go ahead and take a look at the frosted silver version. The box design is the same, except now it's in blue color.
And for the silver version, it does come with a certificate of authenticity. Let me show it to you. This is the 643 coin. And we have the specification of the coin. It's in triple nine fine silver. It weighs 16.2 grams or half an ounce of silver. And it's in frosted and circulated. There were 10,000 of these silver coins uh, issued by the mint. Again, the designer is Alex Borodiev. Look at the coin. I think this coin is uh, very pretty. That's the effigy by Ian Rand Broadley. This was the second coin that I found and I actually bought this coin from a coin dealer in Melbourne. I believe I paid uh, $40 for this coin. Again, um, if you do find any lots on eBay, they are sometimes asking around $80 to $100 for this coin. Okay, so we will jump now to the next screen and we'll take a look at the next coin, the next coin uh, from the lunar year of the GOAT. Okay, we're back guys. Here are the 2015 lunar year of the GOATs, uh, 50 cent coins. We'll start with the copper nickel again. The box designs are the same. And again, no certificate uh, with this uh, copper nickel coin. Let's look at the coin itself. Again, like the previous coin, the mint produced 1,500 of this copper nickel coin uh, presented in this white box. Uh, for the carded version, the mint produced uh, almost twice the number of the previous coin, uh, which is at 20,308. So again, this is a very rare coin. I'll just bring out the other coin to show you. So both of these are the copper nickel coin. Okay, so we now take a look at the silver coin. Sorry for the noise in the background. And I'll just show you, show you the COA first. This is coin number 880. Specifications are the same and the mintage number is also the same, 10,000 for this silver proof version. Ok, 
king. Here's the coin. The frosted finish really makes the design shine. Very pretty. And these were the only two coins that were finished in silver frosted for this series. This was uh, the first coin that I found uh, back in uh, 2018 or 2019. And I actually bought this coin from a coin dealer in Sydney for around $35. I forgot to mention that the copper nickel coin was the third coin that I found. Uh, I bought that, that coin online. Uh, I think that was in 2019 and I paid uh, $26 for that, which was a really good deal. Okay, I'll just show you both the frosted coins together. Don't you think they are very pretty? I think these are probably one of my few favorite coins in my collection. I do think the horse is nicer. The finish is nicer. All right. So we'll cut now to the end screen. All right, we are back. Uh, thank you guys for staying on. Here are the four coins uh, laid out in front of your screen. As I mentioned before, it took me three years to complete this collection. Uh, to me, these are collector coins and not investment coins because of their very high premiums. Uh, if there's any of you uh, looking to get into this collection, uh, please note that there are very few of these coins uh, being offered for sale, either in coin stores or online. So if you intend to start a collection, uh, be aware of the premiums. Uh, be patient and don't rush into any purchase. Um, that being said, uh, the prices of these coins are getting higher with each uh, passing year and I don't see them coming down uh, anytime soon. Well, that about does it for this presentation. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you found it useful. If you do have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below. And please uh, share and subscribe if you have not done so. As always, uh, please take care, uh, be safe and have a nice day.